Hello there friends, once again welcome back to my channel Scientific Phenomenal Facts. Today I am going to show you how to find out the valency of the radicals. Let's proceed. Here this one is sulfate. Its formula is SO4. Here the valency of sulfur it can be 2 or 4 or 6. But here we are going to select 6 because here the number of oxygen atoms took part is more. That's why. Sulfur valency here 6. Sulfur electropositive. Here oxygen electronegative. Valency of oxygen 2. Here 4 atoms of oxygen are there. So 4. Here 6 minus 2 fourths are 8. Here its valency becomes minus 2. And its symbol becomes like this way. As O4. Here, 2 minus or we can write like this way as O4 2 minus this one is an anion its valency minus 2 now here sulfite same valency it has either 2 4 or 6 here we are going to select 4 because there only one less than 4 here that's why sulfur valency 4 electropositive Electronegative oxygen. Here 2 is the valency of oxygen. 3 atoms of oxygen are there. there. So it is plus 4 minus 6. Its valency becomes minus 2. So its formula is simple as O3 here 2 minus. Valency minus 2. Here sulfur dioxide. Let's see. Here sulfur, it is valency either 2 or 4 or 6. As the number of oxygen atoms present is less, that's why here we will select 2 as the valency. Here as sulfur is electropositive, so plus oxygen is electronegative, that's why minus. Here valency of oxygen is 2, so 2, 2, so 4. So here we get minus 2 as the valency. This symbol becomes as O2 here 2 minus is valency minus 2. Now let's see nitrate. Here the valency of nitrate nitrogen it can be either 3 or 5. Here we are going to select the valency of nitrate as 5 because here the number of oxygen is two part maximum. Its capability is up to 3. That's why. So here, 5. Nitrogen is electropositive. Here, oxygen is electronegative. Valency of oxygen is 2. So 2, 3, so 6. Its valency is minus 1. So now it's symbol NO3. Here, only 1 minus charge. Valency 1. For nitrite. Here, let us see the valency of nitrogen. It can be either you see the periodic table here it is on the 15 group and second period it's atomic number seven but here we can get the valency of nitrogen either three or five here the number of oxygen takes part is less it can take part up to four or three but here only two atoms took part so here we will take only three three this one electropositive and oxygen valency is two uh, two atoms of oxygen are there, it's electronegative. Here uh, we get plus 3 minus 4, that is minus 1. So here uh, it's simple we get N O2 here, uh, valency 1, so only 1. Its valency is minus 1. Now carbonate. Carbon carbon valency 4, electropositive, oxygen electronegative, 2 valency, 2 3 6. So its valency minus 2 carbonate. Its symbol CO3 here 2 charge here. Valency minus 2. Now let's see hydrocarbonate. Here hydrogen valency is 1. It's electropositive. Here this one carbonate group. Already we have found the valency is minus 2. So here minus 2. We get minus 1 as the 
valency for carbonate. So its symbol becomes HCO3, yeah, only one minus, is valency minus one. Now let's see phosphate. Here phosphorus is valency. It can either be three or five. Here we are going to select five. Because here the number of oxygen atoms is more, that's why. Five is electropositive, um, electronegative oxygen, valency two, two fours are eight, it, its valency becomes minus three. So its symbol P P O four yeah, the three minus. Its valency becomes minus three. Here four. Phosphite, valency of phosphorus here yeah, we will take 3 instead of 5. Here yeah, the number of oxygen is less, less number of oxygen to per. That's why 3 will be slapped. Now where it is selected positive uh, for oxygen, it is 2, 3, 6. Here yeah, electronegative, so this minus that we get minus 3. Its symbol will be like so, PO3 yeah, three minus. Yeah, it's valency minus three. Now let's see acetate. Here are two groups are there. This one one group, this one another group. Here carbon valency is four. Here we have it is electronegative as due to presence of high electropositive character that is hydrogen. So plus valency of hydrogen one. 3 ones are 3, here this one plus, this one is ester group, valency of carbon 4, now here oxygen is electronegative, now valency of oxygen is 2, and there are 2 atoms of oxygen are there. Now let's see, 4, 4 cancel, a 3 minus 4, it is minus 1, is the valency for acetate. Its symbol becomes CH3, C double O, here only one minus. Valency minus one. Now see hydrogen sulfate. Valency here also, two groups are there. Valency of hydrogen is one, it's electropositive. Already we found the valency of sulfate as minus two. So here, minus two. We get minus 1 as the valency for sulfate. Its symbol becomes HSO4 here yeah, only 1 minus. Its valency minus 1. Now let's see for hydrogen sulfite. Here yeah, hydrogen is electropositive, its valency 1. Here yeah, the valency, valency of sulfite we have already found here yeah, minus 2. So here yeah, minus 2. We get minus 1 as the valency. Its symbol becomes H. SO3, yeah, only 1 minus, is valency minus 1. Now let's see manganate. Here the value of, here the value, valency of manganese, it can vary like this way. Here all those elements are D block elements. They are also called transition metals or transition elements. They have the characteristics of variable valency. Here we are, we are going to use their very nature or characteristics or properties. Of manganese. Here the valency of manganese it can either be 2 or 7. So here I'm going to use here valency of manganese as 2 is electropositive. Here as oxygen is electronegative so minus valency of oxygen 2, 2 atoms of oxygen so 4 here yeah, we get the valency of manganese minus 2. Its symbol becomes M N O 2 yeah, double minus. Or we can put here yeah, 2 minus. Valency becomes minus 2. Now let's come to permanganate. Here yeah, manganese. Its valency we are going to select 7. Yeah, manganese valency 7. It's electropositive. Oxygen electronegative, valency of oxygen 2, 4 atoms of oxygen are there. So here, plus 7, minus 8. Its valency is minus 1. So we can write like this way, 
a symbol m n o 4 m minus valency minus 1 now let's see ammonium there are valency of nitrogen it can either be 3 or 5 but here we are going to set the valency of nitrogen as 3 because when there are presence one electropositive character then its strength is more there we are we supposed to take the smallest valency it is electronegative uh, plus hydrogen valency 1 so for 1 sub 4 uh, we get the valency plus 1 it is cation and all those were anion so we can write the symbol like this way and H4 yeah, only one plus sign is valency plus 1 now let's see for phosphonium here yeah, phosphorus is valency it can be either 3 or 5 here same we are we have to take the valency for phosphorus as 3 with respect to the electropositive character strength it is electronegative here hydrogen is electropositive is valency hydrogen valency 1 1 4 1 so 4 so here we get plus 1 as the valency for phosphonium so its symbol becomes pH4 yeah, only one plus is valency plus one all these two both these two are cation now let's see for potassium permanganate here three different elements are there here valency of potassium we know uh, plus one uh, this one also here we will put plus electrophoretic character here we are going to take the valency of manganese as seven seven based on above principle here oxygen is electronegative valence of oxygen is two here four atoms of oxygen are there so let's see here plus eight minus eight its valency is zero so its valency is zero so i hope you have learned a little bit about the uh, valency of the radicals and if you are satisfied by my approachings then please subscribe thank you